Hi, my name is Ann Wolf. I'm a pediatric physical therapist at Emerge Pediatric Therapy. And today we are gonna be talking through six things you can do at home to improve your child's balance. We are gonna talk through six exercises first, show you a demonstration, and then we're gonna talk about some age appropriate values for things like single limb stance or standing on one foot. You will see some video clips throughout this video of my son completing all of these activities. Um, my son is a typically developing a four-year-old, so we will talk through ways to adjust as needed for each of these activities. The first activity we are gonna start with is kicking. Ball skills can be a great way to introduce balance. Kicking in particular encourages kids to weight shift onto one leg, stand for long enough to kick the ball, and it's a great way to have a partner activity. So this would be a great one to do with your child if they are, you know, 18 months, two years, older kids, also a great time to practice ball skills. Um, we're not looking for accuracy with where they kick the ball. We're just looking at the piece of shifting their weight to one side and being able to maintain that long enough to kick the ball. The second activity is toe taps. So for this, you're gonna need either a cup or a cone. You could also use a water bottle, anything that's six to 12 inches. Um, you're gonna set that on the floor and then you're gonna alternate tapping your toes on top of the cone or the cup. For our younger kids, a shorter cone is gonna be easier. Um, they don't have to lift up their leg as high. For older children, four or five years old, something a little bit closer to that 12 inches is probably more appropriate. Again, we're not necessarily looking for accuracy. We're looking to see if they can shift their weight to one side, de-weight one leg, tap the top of the cone and do it slow enough to not knock the cone over. The next thing you can practice is standing on one foot. So if your child is doing okay with kicking, they're doing okay with toe taps, you can progress them to timed trials standing on one foot. For a three-year-old, we expect them to be able to do around three seconds. For a four-year-old, we expect somewhere in the neighborhood of four up to 10 seconds. For a five-year-old, we expect them to pretty easily be able to do about 10 seconds. We also look for symmetry with this skill. So if they can do you know, five seconds on one foot, we would expect them to be able to do five seconds on the other foot. You can make this more fun by adding a balloon toss or a ball toss to go with it. You could have them stand on one foot while they you know, throw some balls at a target. Um, that would be a great thing to try to get them to stand on one foot a little bit longer. If they're really good at standing on one foot on a firm surface, you can try adding a compliant surface to so something like a pillow or a cushion underneath their foot to make it a little bit more challenging. The next activity we're gonna look at is a balance beam. So if you don't have a balance beam at home, that's okay. A great makeshift balance beam is a rolled up blanket. You can take a blanket or a beach towel, roll it up long, long ways, spread it out, and that is a perfect balance beam. You can work on forwards walking, backwards walking, and sideways walking, and all of those will be challenging for your child's balance. Another great activity is a pillow beam. So take all your pillows, lay them out on the floor, have your child attempt to walk across the pillows without falling off. The last activity we're gonna talk about is a balloon toss on a compliant surface. So compliant surface could be that pillow, that cushion, a rolled up blanket, you're gonna have your child stand on two feet on this squishy surface and try to do a balloon toss back and forth with you, a ball toss back and forth with you. Um, could really be any, any activity that gets them moving a little bit. That self perturbation is a really great way for them to continue to build their balance skills. All of the activities we just talked about are a great way to help build your child's balance. If your child is struggling with balance, give those a try. Let us know what you think about them. Um, you can comment down below if you try them and give us your feedback on the different exercises. If you have a hard time working with your child on balance and you notice that this is a deficit for them, we are always happy to, to work on that with our kids. Um, we would love to hear from you. You can fill out an inquiry for, form on our website to get directed to a physical therapist with us to come in for an evaluation. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I hope you find those tips helpful. Thanks.